he probably underestimated um, Pitbull and thought that just because he was bigger that he would probably dominate him. And I'm going to be honest, that's what I thought. Man, we ain't thinking about none of that stuff, man. <laughs> he just, he come off of a, a tough loss tonight. You know, again, this is boxing. You know, we're, I'm, I'm not even thinking about none of that. I, I'm, I'm always concerned about the health and welfare of my fighters. He's okay. And that's that. Following his controversial defeat to Isaac Cruz and subsequent retirement announcement, Rolly Romero has vociferously demanded a rematch with Cruz. Romero's allegations of cheating against Cruz have ignited a heated debate within the boxing community. Expressing frustration and anger over the fight's outcome, Romero insists he was the victim of foul play and unfair tactics employed by Cruz. He believes a rematch is the only way to set the record straight and prove his superiority. Romero's demand has added fuel to the ongoing controversy surrounding the bout, with fans, pundits, and fellow fighters all weighing in. While some support Romero's call for a rematch, others question the validity of his claims and the timing of his retirement announcement. Isaac Cruz has yet to publicly address the call for a rematch. His camp has dismissed Romero's allegations as baseless. However, Cruz delivered a commanding display in the ring, securing a decisive victory with an eighth-round technical knockout. Cruz's performance surpassed expectations, stunning the boxing community. Romero exuded confidence leading up to the bout, but Cruz proved to be a formidable opponent. Romero attempted to belittle Cruz with pre-match trash talk, even poking fun at his physique. Cruz relied on his solid foundation and punching power to gain an edge against Romero. His relentless onslaught left Romero standing in disbelief. The ferocity of Cruz's attacks was unmatched, leaving Romero helpless and unable to retaliate. Blow after blow rained down on Romero's face, chin, and stomach. From the opening bell to the final round, it became evident that Cruz was poised to claim the title of the new World Boxing Association super lightweight champion. Romero found it challenging to even land a single blow, as Cruz's defensive skills were impeccable throughout the match. Undeniably, Cruz earned his victory, leaving Romero to grudgingly accept his opponent's superiority despite his disappointment. Romero graciously congratulated Cruz's team and expressed gratitude for the unwavering support from his fans and his own team. He vowed to bounce back from this setback. With his impressive track record, it's no wonder that Floyd Mayweather has closely aligned himself with Romero, recognizing the immense potential Mayweather sees in him. Romero's promoter, Leonard Ellerb, expressed his thoughts on the defeat, acknowledging that in boxing, such outcomes are inevitable. Leonard Ellerb emphasized his pride in Romero's dedication and effort, recognizing that setbacks are part of the journey in boxing. The response was emphatic. Romero's performance against Cruz and his promising trajectory trace back nearly a decade, originating from Romero's early days in sparring sessions at Mayweather's gym. Romero caught Mayweather's attention, leading to a contract, before embarking on his professional boxing journey in 2016. Since then, the Las Vegas-based pugilist has amassed an impressive record of just two losses in 17 professional bouts. Keith Thurman offered his commendation for both pugilists, expressing confidence in Romero's ability to recover from the recent setback. It was a compelling bout between two skilled fighters. I witnessed a truly engaging match where both contenders gave it their all, Thurman remarked during an interview. I'm acquainted with him, and I recognize his prowess in the ring. He's resilient and I'm certain he'll make a strong comeback. Boxing enthusiasts echo this sentiment, viewing Romero's loss to Isaac Cruz as merely a temporary stumble. Romero's reputation as a top-tier lightweight contender is well established, making the lopsided outcome against Cruz all the more surprising. However, it's widely believed that the 29-year-old will soon reclaim his status among the elite in the division. Jeff Mayweather expressed disappointment regarding the Romero vs. Cruz match, According to Mayweather, Romero appeared to lack a clear game plan against Cruz. Mayweather observed that Romero initially attempted to display bravery in the first round, but after being caught by Cruz, he resorted to dancing around the ring without purpose. Mayweather described Romero's movement as merely evasive rather than strategic, lacking any intent to counteract Cruz's offense. Mayweather critiqued Romero's strategy as excessively cautious throughout the fight, the 29-year-old seemed more focused on defense, 
avoiding risks and hits, than seizing opportunities to attack. While he did take a few chances, they were scarce, indicating a reluctance to take real risks. Mayweather suggests that, without taking more chances, Romero's chances of winning are slim. Mayweather echoed the sentiments shared by many, suggesting that Romero might have underestimated Isaac Cruz due to his cocky and arrogant demeanor before the match. This stark contrast between his attitude before and during the match indicated that the fighter Romero faced in the ring surpassed the one he had prepared. Mayweather also raised doubts about Romero's commitment, stating that the fighter seemed lacking in dedication. Mayweather, however, expressed optimism about Rally Romero's potential to regroup and regain his form for his upcoming bout, which, as per widespread speculation, might happen sooner rather than later following his devastating loss to Cruz. Romero has appeared visibly shaken and downtrodden in recent public appearances and interviews, suggesting that Cruz's victory has significantly impacted him. The recent bout with Isaac Cruz has sparked conversations about Romero's demeanor. There's speculation that Romero might adopt a more humble stance towards his opponents, moving away from his previous arrogance, suggesting that perhaps the encounter humbled him. Kenny Porter seemed unimpressed by Raleigh Romero's abilities, suggesting that the 29-year-old should consider regrouping in lower divisions and facing mid-level opponents before attempting a comeback on the big stage. Porter emphasized the importance of rebuilding one's status through strategic fights, highlighting the need for Romero to take a step back and work his way up again. Kenny Porter, the father and trainer of professional boxer Sean Porter, suggests that Raleigh should recalibrate his path by engaging with mid-level fighters to regain his status. He also casts doubt on Raleigh Romero's elite status after his loss to Isaac Cruz, indicating that he isn't currently on par with fighters like Tank Davis, who is rumored to be considering a bout with Romero. Romero's tenure in the lightweight division and the world of professional boxing is indisputable. Having made his professional debut in December 2016 nearly a decade ago, he has faced off against a cadre of formidable opponents, among them notable names like Andrew Figueroa, Jackson Martinez, and Austin D. In recent times, Romero has found himself in the spotlight, with a queue of contenders eager to test their mettle against him. Initially, both Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia were slated to face him, but eventually Garcia was replaced by Isaac Cruz. The decision sparked intrigue about a potential future rematch between Garcia and Romero, which was tantalizing. For fans, the clash between Romero and Cruz, which unfolded on March 30th, garnered significant attention. It delivered on the promise of excitement that fans had anticipated. Many fans rallied behind Isaac Cruz, despite his lower popularity compared to Rally Romero. Among those impressed was renowned trainer Teddy Atlas, who described Cruz's performance as reminiscent of a lion. Cruz has shown us today that he has the heart of a lion. He said that Cruz's relentless aggression caught Romero off guard. Atlas expressed interest in a potential rematch, believing Romero has the capacity to bounce back stronger. Atlas observed with a mixture of anticipation and uncertainty. Would Romero uphold his promise and agree to a rematch? And if so, could he hold his own against Cruz in their second clash and secure the victory needed to reclaim his world championship title? Cruz's dominant display at the T-Mobile Arena on March 30th certainly showcased why he was dubbed the Pitbull. It remains intriguing to see what tactics Romero will employ when facing the new champion in his quest to regain the super lightweight title.